All Academy. Always with you. Hello, my dear students. Welcome to this online video lecture on basic thermodynamics. So, in a previous session, we have discussed the introduction to thermodynamics and its application, and we have discussed how important the thermodynamic subject is, and in which all other branches other than the mechanical engineering, this subject is learned. All those things we have studied in a previous session. So in today's session, we'll start with an actual syllabus. And in this session, we're going to discuss the definition for thermodynamic system or thermodynamics, then it's a scope, then how this thermodynamic uh, is analyzed using microscopic and macroscopic approach. Then what is this thermodynamic system? then types of thermodynamic system, then what are the characteristics of thermodynamic system. So without wasting much time, let us begin with today's session. Hello my dear students, welcome to this online video lecture on basic thermodynamics. So today in this video, we are going to start with a module 1 that is fundamental concepts and definition. So let us see what are topics we are going to cover in this first module. So first we will start with a uh, basic simple definition of thermodynamics. So then we will uh, discuss the microscopic and macroscopic approach. Then we will uh, uh, study the we will study the thermodynamic system then the types of thermodynamic system. Then again we will uh, going to discuss about the thermodynamic properties then thermodynamic state and the thermodynamic processes. And at the last we will going to see the thermodynamic equilibrium then the types of thermodynamic equilibrium then zeroth law of thermodynamics, then the how this temperature measurement is uh, carried by using a thermodynamic laws. So these all topics will going to be covered in this module one that is fundamental concepts and the definition. So let us start with uh, the module one with a simple definition of thermodynamics. So thermodynamics is the science of an energy transfer which deals with the relation among heat, temperature, work and the properties of a system. So the thermodynamics is a mainly concentrate on the heat, temperature, work and its properties of a system. The word thermodynamics is derived from the Greek word that is thermo means heat is dynamic means power. So the thermodynamics is nothing but heat and power. So it is derived from the Greek word. As we all know that we have a number of thermodynamic laws and these thermodynamic laws governs the transformation of energy from one form to another form. So whatever thermodynamic laws we are going to study, so all these laws will governs the transformation of energy from one form to another form. And this transformation of energy takes place only when the substance undergoes a change from one condition to another in a process. So only when the system or when a substance undergoes a change in its condition from one condition to another condition in a process then the transformation of energy takes place and this transformation of energy is governed by the thermodynamic laws. So let us see the what are the scopes of thermodynamics. So this thermodynamic principles or laws or concepts are utilized or applied in the, the following areas like steam power plant, separation of liquefaction plant uh, and uh, refrigeration system, air conditioning and heating devices, internal combustion engine, chemical power plants, turbines, compressor. So in uh, and still many more applications are there where these thermodynamic principles or concepts are implemented. Now let us see uh, how this thermodynamic behavior are analyzed. So this thermodynamic behavior is analyzed by two approaches. One is macroscopic approach, another one is a microscopic approach. So let us see the definition of macroscopic approach. So this macroscopic analysis or approach is also referred as a classical thermodynamics. The description of a system or a matter using a few constant measurable bulk properties constitute a point of view called macroscopic approach. And these measurable properties are pressure, volume, temperature, etc. So it means that 
any system is analyzed by using few of its measurable properties then such a approach is called macroscopic approach so now the microscopic approach is referred as the statistical thermodynamics in the microscopic approach the description of an a system using a very large number of discrete particles referred as molecules so in mac in microscopic approach the large number of particles or molecules are considered to describe the the thermodynamic system or thermodynamic behavior and these molecules will be having a different velocities momentum and energies and as we know as in the definition it is said it is having large number of molecules it becomes very difficult to analyze or it becomes very difficult to judge the velocities because these uh, properties or the molecule the whatever properties like velocity momentum energies of molecules will be changing with respect to time so that is a microscopic approach so macroscopic approach in the microscopic approach only few measurable properties are considered to describe the thermodynamic behavior whereas in microscopic approach large number of molecules are considered to describe the thermodynamic behavior or thermodynamic system so let us see the difference between these two so that you can uh, understand what is micro and macroscopic approach so let us see this micro and macroscopic uh, analysis or approach in a in a visualized form so you can see that the microscopic approach consists of n number of molecules and these molecules will be having the energies momentum and the velocities and these properties will be changing with respect to time so it becomes very difficult to measure these properties in a microscopic approach whereas in macroscopic approach only few variables considered and they are considered into they are taken into single properties to define any thermodynamic system or a behavior now let us see the difference between the macroscopic and microscopic approach so here you can see that the differences between the macro and the microscopic approach so let's see the first point the ma macroscopic approach is known as classical thermodynamics whereas microscopic approach is known as a statistical thermodynamics in a macroscopic approach a certain quantity of matter is considered without taking into account of an events occurring at molecular level you have seen the in the previous slide you have seen that uh, image the figure so in that we have not considered the molecules molecules into consideration for describing the thermodynamic behavior in macroscopic whereas the matter is considered to to analyze or to comprised of a large number of tiny particles known as molecules means the molecules are considered to define the microscopic approach now only few variables are used to, to describe the state of a matter under consideration now large number of variables are required to complete the specification of a state of matter under consideration the next point is the value of variables used to describe the state of matter are easily measurable so like pressure temperature volume you can easily measure these uh, properties so whereas the values of variables used to describe the state cannot be measured easily because the velocity momentum energies of an a molecules will be changing with respect to time every moment it will be changing so it becomes very difficult to measure these properties the properties like pressure temperature volume etc needed to describe the system whereas the properties like velocity momentum kinetic energy potential energy so all these are considered in the microscopic approach the analysis is concerned with the overall behavior of an a system so here the overall behavior of my uh, thermodynamic system is considered to define in a macroscopic approach whereas the knowledge of an a structure of matter is essential in analyzing the behavior of an a system in a microscopic approach the molecular 
molecular uh, we define it in a molecular manner means the structure of matter is very much essential in analyzing the behavior of a system the properties of a system are their average volume so here the properties of whatever properties of system we consider so we consider the their average value so whereas the properties are defined for each molecules individually because each and every molecules be having its own velocity momentum energy so each and every molecules must be defined individually in macroscopic approach the it requires simple mathematical formulas for analyzing the system whereas the number of molecules are present in microscopic analysis or description of microscopic approach so we required some advanced statistical and mathematical methods to explain the changes in the system so these are the few differences of micro macroscopic and microscopic approach and this is very important for your university examination in most of the uh, previous examination this question is asked so let us see the some of the practical application of thermodynamic uh, principles in systems you can see that ic engine as you all know that it works on the thermodynamic system now air conditioning is also works on the principle of the thermodynamic system and the refrigeration system turbines so these are the few examples where the some practical applications where the thermodynamic principles are applied so let us see what is this thermodynamic system they are very important because uh, we define any any uh, model or any process as a thermodynamic system so any component as a thermodynamic system in thermodynamics so we need to fix our focus of attention in order to understand the heat and work interaction the space on which our attention is focused is called system so whenever so whenever for any order it's not only with respect to heat and work if any focus or attention is given on particular system or particular object or particular um, methods then that focused area or space will become or it is called as system now what is this thermodynamic system the thermodynamic system can be defined as a definite area or a space where some thermodynamic process takes place so what is the definition of the system it is a focus where attention is given or where we give a concentration to analyze the some activity in a specific area so now when i define it in a thermodynamic system means there must be some thermodynamic process when i concentrate on these thermodynamic process within a some specified area or within some uh, definite area then that system or that area is known as thermodynamic system so thermodynamic system is a definite area or a space where some thermodynamic process takes place it is also defined in other manner that it is a quantity of matter or a region in a space whose thermodynamic behavior is being investigated so this is a simple definition of thermodynamic system so let us see the definition of surrounding system and system boundary so the system is defined as a definite quantity of a matter or a region in a space for a study okay this is a actual the main focus is given on this system where we need to study or where we need to analyze the thermodynamic process or thermodynamic behavior of any system so this is a main focused area now what is this uh, thermodynamic or system boundary it is a real or imaginary surface that separates the system from its surrounding means the outside it separates the outside area means outside surface to the system then the, that separation layer is known as system boundary now anything outside the region or a space outside the system is called surrounding means it is it is outside the system so which is separated by this system boundary is called surrounding now in thermodynamic system we are having a three types means we are having a three different types of thermodynamic system one is closed system and another one is a open system then the third one is a isolated system let us see in details about these different types of thermodynamic systems 
what is this closed system so a system in which only energy that is in the form of heat or work only energy transfer takes place across the system boundary but there is no transfer of mass across the boundary then such a systems are called closed system means you can see that only energy interaction is taking place between system and the surrounding or the only energy is coming out from the system to surrounding by crossing the system boundary or the energy is entering from surrounding to the system means only the energy interaction takes place or only if the energy crosses the system boundary then such a systems are called closed system the sum of the example for the closed thermodynamic systems are pressure cooker with a closed lid so you can piston cylinder arrangement without a wall so this is a example for these are the example for the closed system now let us see what is open system the thermodynamic open system so the system in which both energy as well as mass transfer takes place across the system boundary then such a systems are called thermodynamic open system so you can see in the this uh, uh, animation you can easily see that both energy as well as mass are crossing the system boundaries either they are entering from outside to inside or they are leaving from system to outside so if any energy as well as mass interaction takes place across the system boundary then such a systems are called open system now some of the example for open systems are turbine compressor boiler heat exchanger throttling valves so these are the few examples for the open system where energy as well as mass transfer takes place from the system so let us see what is this isolated system a system in which neither energy nor mass takes place across means the interaction between the system and surrounding both energy as well as mass will not takes place then such a systems are called isolated system now you can clearly visualize by this uh, animated figure now you can see that both the energies means outside from outside to inside or from inside to outside it is not able to cross the system boundary then such a systems are called isolated system both energy as well as mass interaction is not taking place from system to surrounding or from surrounding to system then such a systems are called isolated system then few of the examples like uh, thermo flask the hot water bag but uh, practically the 100% it is not possible to have a 100% isolated system but so let us see the some of the important questions on the topics what we have discussed in this session so first is define thermodynamics and list the scope of thermodynamics then uh, the another important question is differentiate between macroscopic and microscopic approach which i have already discussed then uh, one more question is define thermodynamic system with a neat sketch explain the type of thermodynamic system so which we have explained so the types of thermodynamic systems are open closed and isolated system so these are the questions which are uh, repeatedly asked in the your university examination on this particular topic so generally these questions will be of 4 to 6 marks maximum 4 to 6 marks they will be asking so still if you are having any doubts on the topics which we have discussed today you can comment it in the comment box and we'll try to solve your or i'll try to clarify your doubts click on subscribe button and press the bell icon to get updates from all academy